everybody what's going on Ruben Tech Saltwater Fishing I'm here with Christopher hey. we're gonna be I'm here with Christopher huh? say hey again oh. and I'm here hey. I'm here with Christopher hey guys and today we're gonna be fishing Christopher's fishing in a Hall of Fame fishing tournament yeah um, I'm fishing it as well so right now he's gonna be hunting down for some pinfish sand trout maybe even a hardhead but first we're gonna start on some bait but thanks for coming back All right, one of the one of the bait of choices when you are looking at fishing for like some of the smaller stuff like pinfish, piggy perch. Well, it's actually piggy perches in the tournament, not pinfish. But we're gonna trim these uh, the the squid down to little hook size and see if maybe maybe we get some shad, uh, hardhead. Want a big big old fat hardhead for him, and maybe a nice big old pinfish. So like I said, squid is a good choice. Also, what we do is we put a, typically we put like a pinch weight on here, but we have pretty pretty rough water conditions today, pretty windy, so we're gonna put something a little heavier to get it down. But a pinch weight, a split shot is, is what you, all you really, really need. And then a little small J hook, the bait style hook, pretty inexpensive hooks. These, this is always great if you have kids and you wanna take them out fishing and just really for them just to catch anything, right? I mean, nobody wants to wait all day long for a bite, so. All right, we're gonna put that little weight through there. We're gonna loop it down, and there we go. We just added a weight to his, his line. Tip down, tip your rod down, and swing it, swing it, swing it. There you go. He's still small, not not quite as big, but bigger. Safety first. That's why Christopher loves wearing life jackets. Don't you? You love wearing life jackets because <laughs> safety first. Yeah. You're making a doo doo face. <laughs> Stop. Need that? Yep, that's what I need. I don't think it's big enough, but we'll try it. Try. Keep coming. So we'll come this way. It's all right. Are you humming? Oh, 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 don't let him touch. If he touch, he'll break off. Hmm, I'm about to put my pants. Shoot. Yeah, don't let him touch. Don't let him touch. Don't let him touch. Whoa! I got a bigger one. <laughs> All right, so we continue to fish for the rest of the afternoon, myself and Chris. And, well, we did catch a few fish that we we weighed in. Uh, Christopher got a hardhead that was just about over a pound. Christopher, I took him out uh, two more times. The last time it is tournament day, we have weigh-ins done at 3 p.m., and this is a Hall of Fame tournament that is put on by Setspa. It's a lot of fun. It's a week-long tournament. So we did go out again. We Christopher got up about 3 in the morning with me to hit the water around 5. And we even had our buddy, Captain Cody, come out and help Christopher. Well, we, we sort of took a break after about 5 hours of being on the water. Christopher got in the shade. I went and chopped up some bait a little bit, and Cody had a couple of his family members bring him some Starbucks. And well, we were fishing off a we were fishing off a corner of a dock, and I don't know have I have any no idea where this boat came from, but this boat came in probably about maybe about 12, 15 feet from the corner of the dock that we were fishing at. And we had, mind you, we had everything set up down there. We had four rods, ice chests, bait buckets. We we 
just set up there and fished there just for a few minutes and we're coming right back after after I got some more bait and uh, well Captain Cody Captain Cody and Christopher went down to talk to the boat and just kind of tell them hey can you slide over a little bit you know we're just we're, we're fishing right here on this dock um, and the guy immediately got aggressive now let me say this um, I was even I was I was unsure if I wanted to put this in a video or not because I really don't like putting negative stuff. Uh, there's already so much neg negativity out there in the world. I didn't want to have any or add any negative things to my channel. But this is just part of the storyline. This is part of our week trying to fish in this tournament or fish in this tournament. Well, and Captain Cody is very non-confrontational. He walked out to the boat and said, hey, guys, you know, what are you doing? You know, we're kind of fishing right here. You're, you're, you're really casting. I mean, they are like literally casting like feet within the dock, like even bank feet. Hit, hit, <laughs> hit and dock with their weights and um so captain cody just you know kindly said hey we're fishing right here i'm out here fishing with 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 the kid and you know we're trying to catch some catch some fish for the for this tournament catch some pinfish piggy perch sand trout and uh well the guy immediately got aggressive that was on the boat and no i don't think i own the water captain cody doesn't think he owns the water the guy yelled at Captain Cody, told him, mind his effing business, it's none of his business, just kind of, you know, told Cody, you know, leave him alone, get out of here. And uh, Captain Cody, you know, said, well, this is my business. I, I work here, this is what I do for a living, so this is exactly my business. These are my docks, in essential. And, uh, you know, just really just asking you to slide over. And, well, the guy got extremely aggressive, and Cody and Christopher walked off the docks back to me. And uh, so Christopher and I went back out there, and I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to let somebody just come in and push us off the spot. Mind you, I understand. We walked off the dock. We we did. We walked off the dock. But um, I wasn't going to drag. I, I, I'm tired. I've been fishing all week. I'm not going to grab all my stuff and all my rods and, and move over. I'm just going to fish and coexist with these guys on this boat. I'm um, just not going to worry about it. I told Christopher, don't even look at him. Don't worry about it. We're just going to fish. So, I mean, we are literally just dropping straight down with little uh cut bait um squid we're just literally dropping straight down chris is dropping straight down i'm fishing with a spoon and i'm just casting out like i normally would just completely and totally ignoring uh these four individuals on the boat and and the sad thing is that these are adults they're probably like well in their 50s they they look like they're cognitive of what they're doing and we just commenced to fishing and you know this guy <laughs> this guy on this boat i mean this guy is a piece of work I'm watching him out of the corner of the eye, and he is literally casting and at me and my son, who's 10 years old, and Christopher is a good boy. I mean, he really is. He's all a honor roll student. He's in a STEM program at school. He wants student of the year at school. He's in athletics. He has trainers. He works out all the time. He plays football. He's an extremely, extremely good boy. I know everybody always says this about this kid, but they're kids, but... You, you come across good humans throughout your life, whether they're teenagers or adults or, or older people than you, and you know good people when you see them. And, and Christopher, is he's he's a good person. He has extremely good heart. And um, and I don't want – I want to shelter him away from people like this as much as possible. So uh, my resolution to deal with it was just to simply ignore them. And, and this guy is – he's getting in his wife's rod, and he's casting right at us. I mean, his – I could reach out, I could reach my hand out and, and cast her weight. That's that's how close he's pitching at me and Christopher. And I, I'm I'm hoping that he doesn't hit us. I'm hoping that he doesn't hit my son with, with the with the weight because then it's it's you know the gloves come off. Well, Captain Cody sees this and comes back out the dock and gets angry and casts out, grabbing the guys. I mean, literally, Captain Cody just. Cast parallel to the dock and grabs the guys, <laughs> grabs the guys leader, grabs the guys line and takes off running, tries to yank the, the rod out of the guy's hand. I mean, it is, it's crazy. Cody pulls out his camera, trying to, you know, threaten to put them and shame them a little bit and threaten them to put them on Facebook. I, uh, Christopher looks at me and says, Dad, you should record them. And, and mind you, I'm trying not to be emotionally involved. I'm trying to respect that you know that we all and i have no idea I, I see this all the time with boaters i see it often i see it often with kayakers i don't understand the logic of thinking when somebody's fishing from the bank or 
fishing from the dock or somebody's on their feet fishing, why we don't give them the same respect that we will with another kayaker or that we will with another boater. Nobody's going to roll up on somebody that's fishing the same drain and pitch right at them. Yet you have somebody who's maybe fishing overhead lights at nighttime and you'll go right up to them and like like if you could if you could touch lines when you cast you you are way too close I, I, that's just my rule of thumb and like i said kayakers boaters i mean I, I do both and and i'm always always getting out of people's way i mean i will give somebody the right away because honestly it, it's just fish i mean you know we can coexist it's just fish so Christopher challenged me to get my phone out and be like, Dad, put him on YouTube. So I, I took my phone out because I'm I'm really upset with this guy because this guy is like shouting things at Cody. He's laughing. I mean, just an obnoxious, ha, 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 ha. I mean, just a terrible, obnoxious laugh, just really being a bully. The two other people on the boat really were, were, were turned off by their friends. Uh, uh, it was a man and a woman. There was kind of two men and two women. There were two couples. The other couple that looked like the owner of the boat kind of were put off by their friends and kind of turned their back towards us. And, uh, you know, Cody's shouting at them. The guy's being obnoxious. I'm, I'm going back and forth a little too. Christopher is is chiming in a little bit. And mind you, I was trying to stay out of this. I was trying to stay away from going down this route. And, um, and well, the lady dropped a cuss word at my son and you know and then that was it i turned the camera off and it just it just escalated from there <clears throat> but honestly you know those people moved away so we did you know we fished a little more we went to another location and fished a little more because we got you know some nice size croakers that i thought would probably probably play some uh high in the in the tournament bracket um we got back to the weigh-in he just barely missed out on pinfish at this point i i gave up I surrendered and, and said I'm not placing and just really focused all my attention on Christopher and Captain Cody focused his attention on Christopher too. Just just teaching him how to fish and how to feel for the bite and, and set the hook and, and, and a lot of a lot of stuff that you know that, that we have been drilling into Christopher over the past year or two. But um yeah, so we went to the weigh ins. Christopher weighed in his sand trout. Uh, it looked like he was gonna hang on like by the skin of his teeth to first place. He just missed pinfish and he just missed um, what was the other croaker? He just missed pinfish and just missed croaker by like, like slime. I mean, really, he missed third place, just barely missed third place. Um, so you know, so we went to the weigh-ins, and we were sitting there nervously. Chris was still nervous, still too sure if he won or not. Um, I was pretty sure he did win because nobody else updated the board. So he was sitting there nervously waiting. <laughs> Uh, excited and scared at the same time. Excited and scared. It's another day of fishing, right? That's third place Santra. You got first. You think you got first? Yeah. Yeah, here we are. Yay. Yay. Good job, buddy. It was kind of a friend and family affair, you know, met some new people, people I never met before, saw some old friends, even had uh, our buddy Billy Ray Wagner, he donated some stuff to uh, to the fishing tournament, some some giveaways, hats, koozies, stickers, um, and I think even some flags. But, you know, we had a really good time. You know, I can't thank Captain Cody enough. Christopher ended up taking first place in Sand Trout. Captain Cody had a very large shark. He took first place in Heaviest Shark and first and second for Snapper. As for myself, well, I caught a couple of big gaffed up. But, man, they had some monsters get way in. So I think my biggest one was a little over four pounds. And I think a little over five took it. So... Hey, you know what? It was fun. If you're ever interested in doing Hall of Fame tournament, it is really, really fun. There's also another tournament coming up called Tackle Time. It's another week-long tournament. And let me tell you, man, we go hard. We burn the candle at both ends. And I tell myself every year, I'm not going to go that hard. I'm going to take it easy. When I fish, I fish. If I catch something, I catch something. Because a lot of this, um, a lot of the proceeds 
Not all of it goes back to the anglers. Some of the proceeds goes back to these organizations that put it on, like Setsba. They they put it on and and they do a lot of stuff in the community, a lot of stuff in the fishing community. A lot of they make a lot of donations. So you know, I'm always happy and 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 I'm always happy to give to organizations like that that give back to the fishing community. But we had a good time. I can't thank Captain Cody enough for coming out and helping Christopher. You know, Chris Rose on Cloud Nine. He won his, he placed in his first tournament and actually won a division. So he was super stoked for that. Couldn't have happened to a better kid. And and sorry for making this video go the negative route. I just don't, under, I, I don't understand it. Um, Again, I'm not one that thinks that I own the water. Uh, I'm never going to cast at a boat. I'm not going to inflict pain on anybody or try to, you know, be a, a, a jerk to anybody. I told Chris for this is a life lesson. Um, and I'm always trying to teach him. I'm always trying to school him the best way I can. Uh, I really didn't have anybody there for me and school me how to be a man. So my life lessons, I'm, I try to teach him uh, through my mistakes and, and, and things that I've learned. My mistakes and my achievements and things that I learned. But I told him, I said, you know, Christopher, this is a life lesson. Um, don't grow up to be a person like that. Don't think... Your privilege, and I don't know if these people have money or not. I'm not saying they did. But don't think your privilege just because you have money. Don't think your privilege just because you donate money. Don't think your privilege because you're you think you're above or, or anybody because of anything you have, your race or anything. You're you're not above anybody. You're not. The only thing you could do is be the best person you could be. Be a, a person of consciousness, be a person of principle. And, um, and you'll be all right. But hey, guys, you know, like I said, I'm sorry this video kind of turned into that. But, you know, we had a really good, really good tournament. We had a really good time. I, I You know, I thank you guys. Thanks for supporting the channel. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, we do have a Patreon page. So if you want to become a Patreon today and help further support the channel, there's a link in the description section for that. And uh, all my Patreons out there, thank each and every one of you. Appreciate you guys. Until next time, I hope you catch me hooking up and not hooking up to a boater. <laughs> <laughs>